Welcome back to Odom's Homestead down here in Growing Zone 7B, Tennessee. I figure we'll go around and do a October garden. Just a little walk and talk like we used to do. Don't do them too much anymore. We need to get back to it. Do that walk and talk. Show you all some of the things I got going on. Some of my fall stuff is coming up. Some of the stuff is going out. Yeah, let's just let's see. Let's talk about it. First, we're coming up on these cabbages. These cabbages are like a month old now. This bed, when we put this bed together, we put banana leaves in the bottom and comfrey on top of that. Then we always uh, put some topsoil in. You can see it on droop, uh, droop down some. And then we put potting soil and some compost down on top. Yeah, this bed is really taking off. I did add a little bone meal in each hole when I planted it. Some more I took out of that bed. It's like three or four here. I'm gonna end up putting. I put some garlic down already. I'm gonna end up putting some more garlic and probably some collards up this way. After I take that big old marigold down, but it's so beautiful, it's hard to it's hard to take it down. Still got a few tomato plants holding on for dear life. Got my cardboard. I'm finna start back sheet mulching this area. You can see I've already been working on the strawberry area. Pulled a lot of strawberries already from this area. This just this centerpiece. I still got all of them to get and all of them to get. Yeah, so I can get this area cleaned back out, get these strawberries back in the ground. And yeah, ain't gonna be able to put them all back in the ground because sections we got this many already. That's probably about 60 strawberry plants. Yeah, so we have these tomato plants, which is jet stars. We got some beans, green beans that we've been harvesting a lot of. Broccoli is coming up looking really lovely after that of rain. That's looking look, looking good. Turmeric still hadn't pulled yet. Look like it's about to go to the upper room. Got some little turnips coming up down there. That beautiful turmeric flower. And look, this thing I got in April hadn't put on that much growth, but man, now it is looking lovely since some temperatures done went down. That is a low quad. Finally, got some turnips that are looking pretty good, and we got some just now starting to pop up and some collops, <coughs> Georgia collops. Here we got some more Georgia collars coming up that I got to transplant them, the ones I'm going to put over by the cabbage. So far I just got my one little lonely spinach plant that came up. Been harvesting a lot of figs. Boy, I'm about tired of getting eating figs. You know it's a lie. I ain't tired of eating figs. I never get tired of eating figs. Yeah. I ain't tired of eating figs. And this uh, brown turkey here has shown her butt this year. Along with this Kadota, they have went off. All the rest of y'all over here, disappointed in. Celeste has got one that's still nowhere near ripening. Great, so I'm just finished waiting for the leaves to fall off of them so I can move these vines backwards up and move them up. Yeah. Bananas, they still growing like a beast. This pumpkin has not even put out one female flower yet. So she might finna go too. She's been here too long, too long, not to put on no pumpkin. Disappointed in it. Very disappointed. Carlos Muscadine, you know, I look at it. From a nub to producing muscadines. I know I have a chance to get right, but hey. Still waiting on you too, Mr. Violet. Mrs. Violet. Mrs. Violet De Bardo. Sheila, as I call you. So come on, Sheila. What are you waiting on? You gotta go, Blackberry. Ain't a few of these Texas ever barren. 
these little things right there, they ain't gonna have a chance to ripen. I'm gonna pull that off. Quit wasting energy. Putting out these little things ain't gonna have nothing to time to ripen this time of the year. Quit wasting energy. All the big ones, y'all done gave them to me, so we don't need no more this year. Put that energy back in them roots. This is uh, Italian honey. Still waiting on her. Usually by now, she'll be ripening by now, but not yet. This is a uh, green Concord. It's, it's leaving from here. And some more figs. Uh, a shea green strawberry vert. That little cutting that we had in the fall. Look at it. Last fall. This is a little magnolia. All covered by weeds. They got to be fixed. The red Lebanese ain't grew much at all this year. This Rondé Bardot cutting though did. It took off. Looking excellent. Looking excellent. Of course, all the blueberries. Finna get resheet mulch and some fresh pine bark mulch around them. Get them ready for next year. These seeds I put over here has taken off. It's a violet right there. And another Musubaji crepe myrtle. This, that's just a little. It used to be a Fuji persimmon, but it died back to rootstock. So now I'm thinking, see, now I'm thinking it's just a regular American persimmon. But it ain't doing good anyway. It looks terrible. That's the LSU gold cutting I put there. That's that little low quad I was telling you about. Got another golden nugget up that way. This little area we created not too long ago with the bananas and the more figs. And that more blood orange up under this canopy. So maybe better survive the winter. And elderberries like crazy. A low card right there. So golden nugget. Finally putting on new growth out there. That rain come through. Looking pretty good. Then we got to try to make it survive the winter. Yeah, you can see I'm um, sheep mulching or well, putting leaf mulch down over here over my bottom of bananas. Look at this pineapple crop. She has did her thing this year. She has grown like crazy. So maybe next year you give me some guavas. Cadota, <coughs> see, and that's a lemon guava. And that's another pineapple guava. I wish I could put all my guavas over here, but hey, I can't have them. This big girl right here, that's a Bella Georgia peach, and her big sister, the Alberta peach. Look at that. It is dwarf ever band mulberry. She is looking delicious, but I don't know why her leaves is rolling up like that. Something in there? See no bugs in them, but why them leaves is rolling up like that? A dwarf ever been mulberry. Ain't been in the ground like a month, month and a half, somewhere else in there. Yeah. And my, of course my pineapple top. This one's going on. This this is the second season. And that was a little pup I took off of that one. Uh some quarter grew from seed. More feed cutting. Mars lemon I grew for seed. Of course we got some more feed cutting, some more uh blue concord grapes, some more feed cuttings, a Niagara grape, my ice cream banana, my white guava. Putting on some guavas. Get that look let me back it up a little bit. That little guava for me right there. Be still, Cam. Be still. Focus. See that little guava there? My 
me walk home card just always showing out. Always showing now. Well she got more guavas. Like guavas like crazy. She gobbling it out. Trees up here when we had them storms. That's in the container. This is a uh, Barbados cherry. You see all the flowers. The thing has been giving us cherries like crazy. And it's, of course my beautiful baby here. She has got lemons like crazy. Still putting off more flowers. Some Myers lemon. We got so many lemons it's unreal. That's my brown Celeste Satsuma. Putting on a lot of new growth. A lot of new growth. And this is my Moore's Bud Orange. We got eight one. It was unripened. Kind of sour, but we got one left. The flowers they put off early in the spring, they just fell off. So, hey. Pink guava fell off immaturely. Wasn't fully ripe because of the storm, so. Put it in the refrigerator, it gets off, ate it, went to sleep. Did have a lot of flowers on it, but I don't know, maybe that storm blew them off. I ain't really inspected since then. Got them all put, packed tightly together. This is my Mexican cream guava. The Mexican cream guava. Let's pull these things around. And then this we ain't got no storm, spread them out a little bit so y'all can see them a little bit better. That's a brown Celeste Sassuma. When we got last spring. Here's the pink guava. She's a big girl. See, I think all them other flowers fell off, then. I don't see them. <coughs> so, they didn't hold. We got one off over this year. Hoping for more next year. And here's that Moore's Blood Orange. She is beautiful. Remember all the damage we took on her and had to cut her back. Now she's coming back. She is looking lovely. These guavas grow like crazy. Y'all can count. I got a lot of guavas now. The Mexican uh, cream. We got the pink. We got two pineapple guavas. One lemon guava. And a white guava. So we guavaing it out. And, of course, all the pears across the driveway, losing their leaves. About ready for their summer pruning this spring. I mean, winter pruning this spring. Same with the apples. But yeah. And that is how things is looking around here so far. If you made it this far, please hit that like button for me. Show, it shows you too that we actually out here doing some things. And to put it in that outer wrist. So, like I always say, runs my passion. Y'all stay blessed. Hold them.